So in today's lesson, we'll be looking at the laws of exponents. So there are quite a bit of laws for the laws of exponents. So we'll look at the different ones, give some examples. Okay, so for law one, the rule is we give an example like this. So the rule says that where the bases are the same, we'll add the exponents when we are multiplying. So when we are multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. So in this case, it'll be a two plus two which will give me a to the power of 4. If we're going to look at another example, we are given 5a times a to the power of 5. Now, important thing I want you to note is when we have just the ordinary 5a, we know that it's to the power of 1. So there's hidden 1 over there, so we always need to take note of that. And in front of the variable a here, there's an invisible one here as well. So when we're working this out, I like to break it up. So we're going to deal with the number first, okay? So if we're looking at the coefficient here, it's 5 times 1. So we know it's just going to be 5. And then we have a to the power of, so 1 plus 5, looking at the law again. When the bases are the same, bases here is a. We add the exponents so our answer we get is 5a to the power of 6 <coughs> so if we just look at one more example of this law we get 5p 2p to the power of 5 3p to the power of 4 so now we know that when they put these periods in between or we can call them full stops or point or whatever we know that it means that we are timesing the terms okay so if we timesing it we know 5 times 2 times 3 so 5 times 3 is 10 10 times 3 is 30 okay now we look at p so invisible one over there mm. 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 4 is 10. So the final answer we get to is 30p to the power of 10. So now if we look at law 2. Law 2, we are given an example like this. It's a to the power of 5 over a to the power of 3. So with this law, they say that when you are dividing two terms and the bases are the same, you will subtract exponents. So you will subtract the lower exponent from the upper exponent. So the denominator's exponent, you'll subtract from the numerator's exponent. So it will be 5 minus 3. And we end up getting an answer of a to the power of 2. So that's a squared. Now, looking at another example, we're given c6 over d to the power of 5, and that is all over d. So, if we look at that, we can see here that there isn't a c in the denominator position, so the c will stay the same. So, it'll be c to the power of 6, and then there is a d here, so it will be... Remember, there's an invisible one up here, so it'll be d5 minus 1, which will give us our answer of c to the power of 6, d to the power of 4. If you look at just one more example of the second law, we get 4a squared, b to the power of 3, over... 2a squared, b squared. Now again, when we have the coefficients here, we're going to divide those first, and then we'll move on to the variables afterwards. So if you look at this, it's 4 divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2, we know it's 2. 
now we have a squared over a squared now remember when we divide something by itself it equals to 1 so we will not put the 1 in here because we don't need to now we have b to the power of 3 divided by b to the power of 2 so now we go 3 minus 2 is going to give me 1 so we'll just the answer will just be 2b So now if we look at the third law of exponents, this is where we are given an example like a squared in brackets cubed. So in this case, what happens if the exponents is we times the exponents. So it'll be a two times three. So because we timesing because we're doing the power of an of a power, we timesing the powers together so it's 2 times 3 okay and that will give us a to the power of 6 looking at another example we're given 2a squared in brackets and that is squared okay so very important to note that we will still be squaring the coefficient that's here in front so 2 will still be squared so 2 squared will be 4. So we'll always start with the number first. Moving on to the variable now. Now we have a. And we know it's going to be. The exponent is 2 times 2. So we get 4a to the power of 4. Awesome. So now we get another example here. We have a to the power of 3, b to the power of 6, and that gets cube rooted. So, looking at that, it's going to be a, 3 times 3, and then b, 6 times 3. Which will give us an answer of a, so 3 times 3 is 9, and B, 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, lastly, we're going to be looking at law number 4. So, in this case, we're given 6 times 10 squared so now important thing to note with the fourth law is that when we're given 6 times 10 to, to, and that's squared each term inside the bracket will be squared so how it's going to look is we now have 6 squared times 10 squared so now after we've broken that up we can go 6 squared is 36 times 10 squared which is 100 which gives us a final answer of 3600 when we times them together so now if we look at an example which contains variables we'll have 2a times 5c and that will be squared so looking at that we know each term inside the bracket will be squared so so we need to break this up further so we have a coefficient and a variable so we know that the 2 is first going to be squared and then we're going to have a which has the exponent of 1 which is going to be times 2 because of the third law of exponents right so that's how we're going to break this up and that's going to be times 5 squared because we need to square the number as well and then c1 times 2. So what we end up getting is 2 squared is 4, a to the power of 2 times 25, which is the which is 5 squared, c to the power of 2. So if we're going to times those together now. 
what we're going to end up getting is 4 times 25 giving me 100 the a squared will stay as is because there's nothing to times over here and then the c squared will add on as well so a squared times c squared is going to give me a squared c squared and if we can look at one more example over here we get given 2a b times 3a squared b and that all will be squared so if we're going to break that up now we know we're going to have 2 squared let's not forget now the exponents here when they are no exponents we know the exponents 1 so it'll be a 1 times 2 b 1 times 2 remember the third law of exponents so we're saying that 1 times that 2 times 3 squared a 2 times 2 because the exponent there is 2 and then b 1 times 2 bring that down now we're going to get 4 a squared b squared times 9 a to the power 4 b squared now to get our final answer we're going to times the numbers first so when we times the numbers over here 4 times 9 we get 36 then we do a that's 2 remember now we times in the basis of the same so we're adding exponents that's 2 plus 4 we get 6 and then b 2 plus 2 which is going to give us 4 Okay guys, thank you very much for joining in on this lesson and that will be all.